eight, seven, something like that. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Slip Slip Jeans channel. My name is Jack, and today is the 1st of December. Happy 1st of December. It is officially Vlogmas. First time doing it, kind of terrified. It's gonna be a lot of work, but I can't wait to show you a bit more about what goes on in my day-to-day -day life, what happens in the world of Jack, um, and yeah, get ready for the lead up to Christmas. Lots of things planned, lots of exciting things happening, lots of things have already happened. If you didn't know, because you either haven't subscribed or you don't follow me on Instagram or you don't really care, which is also absolutely fine, uh, last night, Myself, Jen, at Chunky Stitches, and my mum, at Back to Blighty, did a live stream on the Back to Blighty channel, where we did a QA, and a answered your questions, drank mulled wine, crafted, had a really, really lovely time. So thank you to everyone that turned up. It was amazing. We are going to be doing more of those, because it was great. So thank you, everyone that turned up. Yes, I am down in Sussex, in the Back to Blighty house, and we'll be here for another day. So yeah, it's um, it's a little bit weird being back home, but it's nice to be back. And yeah, we've been here a few days. We've got lots of things planned today. Today, this morning, Jen and I need to do some filming because we are halfway through an Our Little Universe vlog that we need to finish filming because we've done some shopping, so that's great. We need to do some crafting. I do, especially because I'm doing a test knit, which I will tell you more about later on. And we are going out to a place called Eastbourne today, which is a seaside town in the southeast of England, and possibly going and buying some yarn. And then this evening, Jen and I are going out for a festive evening. So lots of things planned, lots of stuff to get on with. You have already seen Jen babbling on the bench in true back to blighty fashion. Babbling on the bench in back to blighty fashion, that's a lot of bees. And before I do that though, I've got to open this, this is the fa oh the white stuff, 12 socks of Christmas for men. So I'm gonna open that now. Hopefully this is the last time that I ever get non-handmade socks because I want to make all of my own socks from now on. Um, and yeah, more about that later on. So let's dive into this. So I have socks. I feel like I need Jen's help. Yeah, go for it. You, I haven't got nails, so. Okay. Yeah, well, because you <laughs> tore that bit. I know. I just don't want to do the full thing. Ooh, got a snowy number. There we are Ooh. with a one by one rib, contrast heel toes and cuffs. Forever in ice. Thank you, Mum. Right, we've had a bit of a crisis. We're about to film a little section on my mum's Vlogmas, where we're showing our knitted socks of the day because I've got my Brunos tokens, and this has happened. Mum, mm -hmm. what's happened? Performing open sock surgery right now. Open sock surgery. It's a tense moment. Uh, can you describe what you're doing currently? So basically I think what's happened is that the end that you weaved wove in yeah um wasn't very secure okay so i'm just picking up the stitches that have dropped off because i think we caught it just in time and then we can then kitchener it again or whatever you did on these socks um what is it a starto or something starto decrease with a kitchener finish although you have very short ends here the problem with these, this was something that I mentioned in my podcast, was that I had very little yarn left over um, and I had to magic knot uh, ends Well, the magic together. knot is not so magic. <laughs> my magic knot's not very magic, um, <laughs> which is a shame. But no, that was the better sock. Oh, do you want to check your other foot? <laughs> this one's fine. So yeah, that's the magic, that's not a magic knot toe. That's a normal toe, I think. What's that? Looks like this is the magic knot sock. No, it can't be. No, okay, there's a bit of my toe. So yeah, this is very interesting though, because I'm learning here. 
And when things go wrong, that's the best time to learn. As infuriating as it is. That's not a lot of that's yarn. That's not enough yarn. Uh, it might be enough yarn to finish it. Uh, okay. But I need to do a bit of repair. A bit of repair work. Yeah. My Bruno Sockums. It's the first day I've worn them. I was so excited to show them. <sighs> anyway, we will update you. Sorry, what was that? This is not how to finish your socks, unless it's an emergency. I mean, like any operation, there's going to be a scar. So, um, let's put the needle over there. So, yeah. But, I think... I think it's going to survive, Jack. Thank you. This is, this is the problem that I have, is that... And I feel like this is something that... If, if you're a newer knitter, or... I think anyone, actually... It's okay to get things wrong, but don't be terrified about it, like me. <laughs> where... I mean, yeah, the worst that can happen is you would have had to rip back the toe. That's the worst that could happen. See, I, even just picking up stitches, I'm just scared of doing it because I'm I'm not confident. And I, I guess that's, you don't get confident until something goes wrong, no, do you? No, no. Um, and again, it's that fear. We were talking last night, weren't we, on the live stream about investing so much time into something and then something going wrong, something going wrong and yeah it's kind of a bit heart-wrenching when that happens but yeah until you do go wrong you can't actually learn to fix any mistakes so mm. you know swings and roundabouts really well now you know i'm wearing the brunos sockens um however i am going to make the smaller size next time so that I have enough yarn to make sure that everything is properly secured. So, well, you could just add another colour, another contrast colour for the heels, toes, and cuffs, or something. That's the other way. Right, I'm solidly weaving in this end now. Solidly weaving. Yeah, so it shouldn't. And then, am I allowed to put my sock back on? Come out. So, um, so for anyone watching this, don't try and use a magic knot on the end of a toe. <laughs> Because it might work in a blanket. Doesn't work but, on a sock. Um, Jack's big toe was trying to escape. I just took my slipper off because on your podcast we were, or on your vlog we were going to show off our hand knitted socks sock of the day. Of the day and um, yeah, my toe fell out. <laughs> so this is the behind of the scene. So if any of you um, watch my vlogmas, you won't. You'll have a. This a, is what you a mean. backstage pass. Yeah. Into. Um, yeah, what you, that footage was like. You really are securing that, aren't you? I am, you? it's not going to come out again. No? No. You sure? Yeah. Go on a bet. No. <laughs> I mean, that is well and truly woe. I'm halfway down the toe and I'm still weaving, so... Um... Have you got any tips for doing toes on socks? Don't do a magic knot. <laughs> Don't do a magic knot. But also, this is with a star toe decrease, isn't it? As opposed to a classic yeah. Kitchener finished toe. Um, yeah, and a Kitchener is probably a more secure yes. finish. Um, because obviously with the star toe, you're just um, threading the yarn through the stitches you've got left. Yeah. So, How do you do that without it being visible from the other side? Is that a good little tip? Ta-da! Very okay. good, thank you. Yeah, how do you sew in ends without it coming through? Uh, like which bits do you catch? You go, so if you're um, sewing in ends um, with floats, yeah, you would pull the floats apart slightly and you would knit into the bumps of the stitches there. The bumps, you wouldn't yeah. go into the floats because that can pull the mm -hmm. fabric yeah. and you'll get puckering. So you just look through and on this, yeah, on a normal part, normal reverse of the sock, just weave into the bumps. Okay. Just so. just the very, very top bits. Yeah. So you just pick up these loops. Okay. Do you go up and down? Do you go through a load and then back through a load? I or tend you... to go, well, you can do it lots of ways. Some people go diagonally. Um, I just tend to go um, up and back. Up and back. And then a couple coming back the other way. And that seems to secure it. But to be honest, once you've washed those once, they're going to felt slightly on the inside and it will hold the yarn. Are they washed? 
Yeah, but it didn't work with magic knots. Yeah, but the friction <laughs> of your foot in the side yeah. inside of it, it will felt those slightly as well. So. Well, I'm going to put my sock back on now. Thank you. Okay, crisis. Thank you. Averted. Doctor Blighty. <laughs> Time to show our socks of the day on uh, Back to Flighty Vlog. So do go over there and check out. Um, and if you're ever making socks, do not magic knot to do the toe because that happens. You end up with this. everyone. Jen, in the back. Mum, driving. Alright, well we've been sat in the car for 40 minutes and we're still in Eastbourne. Not having a nice time. What a catch. Um, we're, we're taking a detour. We're being sneaky. But yes, we are We've we've had a bit of a an interesting day. We've we've had a cool that's bright. Um we've had some sad news from what is one of our local yarn shops. But we'll talk more about that later. I had a bag. It's okay, it's okay. I've got a bag. This is my bag. This is my bag. So, hello everyone. Hello, Jen is here. Hi. The uh the chonkiest of stitches. And it's a bit later, as you can tell, and we're in a little bit of a rush, but we have got back from our trip to Eastbourne. Um, I took a bit of footage on the way there, a little bit in Kloss and Hamlin, or C&H Fabrics, which um, there's a bit of a palaver. Go to Jen's channel to find out about the sad news. Yes. Um, but we are going to be heading out very shortly, and I did a bit of shopping. So I've, I thought I'd just show you a little haul. This is a yak bag this is what i swapped with jen for a yak project bag i got a tight bag um but i got a few things i got, got... The... Oh, no, you got no it's okay That's fine. okay um so there is a little tin here um jen has a tin as well but you'll have to oh you can show it no that's fine okay well this is a little money box and it's got penguins in sweaters it's an emma ball print so you know i love emma ball but this is going to be for yarn shows so we each have a fund that we can put some pennies in. Keep it aside so we don't spend it elsewhere. And this was actually a gift. Thank you. Oh yes, you're welcome. <laughs> That's very kind of you. So I got that. Um, I didn't get Jen anything because I got everything for me. But I got some yarn because they're getting... Seal basket. It was. They got, they're getting rid of loads of yarn. Um, and they had loads of 
Uh, well, they didn't have loads. I had four skeins of Rowan Valley Tweed, 50 grams in Raid Ale, which is this really chocolatey, it's sort of a more chocolatey brown, isn't it, with blue flecks in I'd say it's more on the grey side. It's... Charcoal-y side. Charcoal, definitely charcoal. Yeah. Um, so Very this nice. is an awful representation. I'll show you in better light. The, so. the sale box was pretty empty, actually, and the, most of what was left was only one scale of each thing, whereas yeah. there were four of those, so... Yeah, and I thought, I've never worked with this. You made your scarf out of it, and I love it. I did, I love it. So I thought, I'm going to give it a go. Four-ply, yes. um, woolly, Osprey scarf. Last but not least, I've got a gift for myself. Mm -hmm. I'm going to wrap it, put it under the tree, and have it on Christmas Day. But I got myself a tin of food. They are the Toft Snails kits, which come in an actual tin. Um, it's part of the Hashtag Gourmet Crochet series, and you can make eight snails. There's a little picture there. Um, so, and it's crochet. And I thought, I really want to learn to crochet. I want to do more of it in the new year, definitely. So, under Jen's supervision, canned food. So, I'm going to wrap, do you want to wrap it up for me? Maybe. This was the last one. They did have a couple of, if you're near Eastbourne, there are a few more of um, the not of the snails. So, but yes. So that was your little haul. That was my little haul, but now my tote bag is empty so... and ready to take with me Do you as want we're to going say out. Where we're going to you go? can say it if you want. I think you should have your hog. All right, I will then. <laughs> so we are going off to the nearby town, which is a place called Lewis, which is a very historical place as it is their late night shopping tonight. So we're gonna go there, get some nice festive footage, maybe pick up some gifts, and yeah, we're gonna go and make the most of it. So we will see you there. Bye. <laughs> And just like that, I am back. So I haven't got long because my mum and dad are on their way back home. But Jen and I have just done washing up and we had a really nice time in Lewis. But we are now back and I have just remembered that I need to pick the winners from the giveaway. So we're gonna do that now. First of all is the winner of Squiddy or Yarn, Jen? Squiddy or Yarn? Squiddy first, here we go. Here we are, I'm on randomcommentpicker.com. We are going to get comments. Oh, the end. okay, well, we'll get the right URL. And the winner of the Squiddy is... Diana! Great looking cows, Jack. Ideal for a Christmas gift. Congratulations on 3K subscribers. I'm one of them. Cheers. Well, Diana, you need to get in touch with me and... Well, we will liaise and we will sort out a squiddy for you. But now we need to pick the dystopic fibre yarn. Oh, here we go. And the winner is... Sylvia East. Thanks, Jack, for another lovely chat. At the moment, I'm looking forward to finishing my Christmas present knitting. I decided to knit mitts and cow sets for the six girls in the family. I always seem to put myself under silly pressure, but I'm so glad in the end when I have a lovely pile of knitted goodies. Looking forward to Vlogmas with you. Well, Sylvia East, get in touch with me and we will get a lovely skein of yarn sent over to you, maybe to make some more mitts. So on that note, we are going to finish the vlog there. Thank you all for joining me today. Remember to like, subscribe and all that jazz. Check out Chonky Stitches vlog, check out Back to Blighty vlog, and I'm gonna have a lovely relaxing final evening of the trip with my family and yeah i will catch you tomorrow morning for day two of vlogmas take care thank you very much and see you in the morning